Hello everyone. Welcome to the new video on named entity recognition models. So, by now we have discussed several things around named entity recognition. And we have seen how we can use named entity recognition along with UiPath document understand. But until now, we use the model that UiPath provided to extract the entities available in documents. And I also promise that I will also show you how to create your own named entity recognition models to work with uh, such kind of scenarios. This can be very helpful in scenarios where you need to extract certain uh, entities from documents or any given uh, paragraph or string, um, could be anything. Um, and this will be very helpful for you to understand like how to identify different entities, how to create your own entities and extract those from the text given to the model as the input. So as a start, we first need to figure out how to build our own named entity recognition models and the tools needed to do that. So let's have a look at it. So I'm looking at the UiPath documentation around custom named entity recognition. So there is quite a lot of documentation around this and it's in very much detail so you can easily follow. But I will take you through the key steps in setting things up. So in this documentation, it discusses about setting up the, um, the label studio. So this Label Studio is very much similar to what you see in the, um, the validation session, for example, when it comes to documents where you highlight different things and uh, tag the words and so on. It's kind of like a very much similar interface, <clears throat> but it has a different uh, purpose in this Label Studio. It's, it's a separate tool uh, that we can use to do the labeling. So basically, for our named entity recognition, the customized one, we can use this label studio to get started. And the good thing about this is, just like any other model, once we have created this, we can use it to re retrain the models as well. So we can do the initial training. And while we use it, we can use the Label Studio to improve our model with the actual data that is processed. So the first important thing is getting started with the Label Studio. So you can go through this documentation. It has a lot of information here. So and Let's now see how we can start off with this level studio. Basically, you just need to get this thing installed in your machine. And to do that, you need um, Python installed in your computer. So there are several methods that can be used to install this. You can either use Docker, you can use uh, Python, you can use several other things to get it installed in your machine or even in a cloud instance. But I think Python is going to be my preference because I already have Python installed in my machine. So you can see it requires Python 3.6 or 3.9, somewhere in between this. So you can easily download this if you go to Google and go here from this downloads you can download the required version and get it installed and set it up in your machine and once that is done it's very easy so you just need to uh, perform two commands to get it installed so assuming that you already have python installed in your machine 
you just need to go to command prompt and i would prefer to run it as administrator just in case and then all you need to do is just run this command install Ever Studio. So in my case, it is already installed because I tried this like a couple of times uh, before starting this recording. So in your case, it will be installing it for the very first time. And the things you see here will be slightly different um, since you're running it for the first time. But you just need to run this command and it will install everything for you. And once it is installed, you can easily start it by um, using the second command over here, label studio. So it will automatically start everything for you and it will open the browser. And um, let's wait for it. Yeah. So this is the very first screen that you will be getting. So this is the community edition of the label studio, which we can use. So as you see, it requires us to log into this system. So this is, since this is the very first time, you can go to sign up and provide your email address and a password and just click on create account. And it will uh, navigate to the uh, home screen. So in my case, I have already created the account. So let me sign in. Okay, so once you sign in, this would be your first screen. So in here, we can create any kind of project to start working with the Label Studio. So this is the first thing. So we, now we have done the installation and let's create the first project. So let me click on create project and I can give a name over here. So let's say my first leveling project. And we have a couple of other options here as well. So here you can import data, but let's do this data import a little later. And if you go into this labeling setup, here you'll see many options. So this is used not only for named entity recognition. This label studio is used for many other things like identifying different objects in images, and identifying audio, as you see over here, like based on the audio, you can do intent classification and many other stuff. There are so many things where we can explore. And you have conversational AI. So in our case, we'll be focusing on natural language processing. And in this one, you can also see it has so many things. You can do the relational extraction, taxonomy, text summarization. And along with that, we have the named entity recognition. So since we are focusing on NER, let's focus on this. So just go here and click on this uh, option. And once that is done, you will get this screen where you can create the labels that we need or in other words the different entities that you need to capture so if you actually look at the previous videos we were able to capture person information or in other words people names of people and company names different locations and many other stuff so just like that we can name our entities over here so we already get four labels by default so these entities are called labels here 
So by default, PER is for person and ORG is for organizations. LOC is for the locations. And this is more like a miscellaneous. So based on our requirement, we can add or remove this stuff from here. So let's focus on some very simple things for our initial setup. So let's take person, let's take organization and location, and let's also try to take. Uh, so let me remove that. Let's also try to take um, date. So you can type it here and click on it. So it will get added over here. The same thing will uh, represent on your right hand side. So this is our initial setup. So if you like to do it in a, a visual way like this, this is how you can do it. Or if you like to write some code to identify these things, that option is also here. But to keep it simple, let's only focus on the visual. So you can add any number of labels as you want. And just to keep it simple for this series, we'll only focus on these four for now. And once this is done, you can click on save. And now we are ready to import the data. So in here, let's first have a look at the options that we have in here so that we get more familiar with the Label Studio. On your left-hand side, if you click on this option, you can see the different projects. So this is our first project. And you can click on that and get into that project. And over here, there are a few other options like different tasks that you can perform. So this option will be available once you import the data. And the different columns that are by default available for us. And the different filters. There are no filters as yet. And then if you look at the settings option, here you can change your project name, the color, and the labeling interface. If you want to add new labels, uh, again, you can go here and do the modification. And uh, there are many other stuff, but let's uh, only focus on those things for now. And once you're done with the changes, you can click on Save and go back to the previous screen. So this is the initial um, things that we need to set up our environment. And once this is done, the next step is importing the data. So the data import has to be done in different ways. And again, for the import, you have several options. So we will discuss how to get the import data ready and what kind of things we need to go through to prepare the import data. And once the data is imported, how to perform the labeling in the next video. So this is like a initial video just to get the environment set up and get things ready so that we can start the labeling. Okay, and if you want to do a little bit more reading on this Label Studio, you can go here and see what are the installation options available, as I mentioned before. And there is also another blog post, um, which you can refer and try to understand how these things work. So basically, this is the overall structure. You have the labeling studio and it connects to machine learning models to label the data. And you can also introduce human in the loop concept within UiPath itself to train these models. I mean, like retrain these models um, to improve the accuracy. Um, and there are so many things that you can read about this.
So um, that's I think that's all for this video for today. So uh, let's get it installed. And I hope this is will this video will be helpful to um, easily understand what this Label Studio is, the purpose of it, and how to get it installed. And in the next video, let's have a look at um, some sample data labeling things in the Label Studio. And before wrapping up, I just want to show you one more thing. So now this is uh, up and running. So next time, once you close this, and once you close this thing, all you need to do is just run that same command again, uh, label studio, just like I did before, so that this will automatically open for you. All right, so that being said, uh, this is the end of the first part of the video on creating custom data labeling, sorry, custom named entity recognition modules. And in the next video, we'll see how we can use this Label Studio to label and tag our different entities. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Take care.